Here we're going to look at another tree in the Juglandaceae family. It's in a different genus, Caria. This is Cordiformis for the specific epitaph. That's bitternut, or sometimes referred to as bitternut hickory. This is typically a single trunked tree, rather tall, and we're going to take a closer look at some of the other features. Looking closely at the bark, you can see relatively smooth, just starting to develop a little bit of texture here, and really, bitternut will remain this sort of just very light texture even as it ages. So it creates a fairly smooth bark and only lightly textured even as a larger tree. You can see that it is alternately arranged as we go up in terms of the buds and leaves. And hopefully you're getting a sense that these are pinnately compound leaves. So this entire structure here is one solid leaf with individual leaflets. Here, again, is the entire pinnately compound leaf with individual leaflets. This is fairly typical of caria to have smaller leaflets at the base and then rising in size as you get to the top of the full leaf. Another notable feature is this terminal bud, which has a sulfur yellow color. This will change a little bit more as we go into the season. Right now it's still looking a little green to yellow, but it will be lightly fuzzy and be a sulfur yellow color. If you look down, you can see the lateral bud here has that same coloring, but much different shape. The fruit of bitternut is a smaller uh, nut, has an outer husk, and this husk, unlike the black walnut, which is smooth, the husk of bitternut and most of the caria genus has sutures or seams that have the outer portion of the husk peel away, there's an inner shell that would be removed, and then inside of there is the seed. This can be eaten, but as the name suggests, it is bitter.